Hey queens, hey kings, welcome back. It's Shani Shafai and you are watching the Shani Shafai Show. Alright, so I'm here to get into a lot of different things today. I have this brand spanking new entertainment segment. So yeah, we're going to get into a lot of things today. A lot of topics from Beyonce, Rihanna, Cardi, Nicki. Yeah, it's all about the queens today in music and it's not about any kind of drama this is not a gossip talk show okay yeah not about that and it's not only about entertainment we're going to get into a lot of different things today reinventing yourself reinventing your brand business startups ideas like yes it's about to be a really really packed episode and i can't wait to you guys see everything that I have. All right, let me stop talking about it. Oh, and don't forget that grind time segment. So yeah, stay tuned for that too. So now an entertainment. Beyonce killed Coachella. Y'all know I had to start with Queen B, okay? Queen B, yes. People are calling it B Chella. She came and she took over. The only thing I was like, wait, what's going on? When I saw that video and she brought the freaking swag surf back, like people were not interacting. And the crowd was just like, look around. I'm like, uh-uh, they needed to round all of us up, okay? All of our culture, all of our community, and fly us out to Coachella for real, for the free, so we could turn up with Beyonce. Because I was like, wait, they did not deserve that moment. They paid their coins, and they did not turn up the way they should have when she made that big, huge moment, okay? Did y'all see the way she brought out a whole band like she did it major there's absolutely no other performer of our generation that's doing it like Beyonce and then on top of that Rihanna was in the crowd front and center turning up supporting Queen B that's what I love like they are two major artists but it's not no competition it's not like no oh yeah she's performing at Coachella I'm not performing at Coachella so I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna support her what no Rihanna was like hey yes that's what I love to see now on the other hand y'all know the whole Nicki Minaj and Cardi thing I'm not here to get into gossip I'm not here to talk about you know they mess but I will say, I hope that they work it out and Nikki killed it, okay? That style, that old Nikki that I have been waiting on. I know all of the bars have been waiting and I have been waiting too, okay? She killed it. I cannot wait for her whole complete album to drop. Like, she gave us a taste, you know, we can find certain songs, but it's just like, wait, I have to hear the whole thing. I have to get the full experience. I watched the interview as well on iTunes and she was talking about the whole like Migos thing and stuff like that and okay y'all I'm not here to get into you know the whole drama but I do want to know something from y'all so if y'all have been catching up let me just tell y'all what happened real real quick so Nikki was upset that you know Offset didn't try to defend her in the whole you know Nikki and Cardi situation she was saying that you know the whole situation with motorsport went a completely different way she was cool she you know wanted cardi to be on the song but then when everybody tried to paint her as the bad guy they kind of just like you know let it slide let the whole thing go and it kind of ruined nikki's character a little bit so she was mad at offset like yo why aren't you speaking up like you know i didn't have a problem with this girl and he was like oh you know i would speak up but you're not my girl so she was mad that he didn't come to her defense and it's like okay that whole situation, you can feel bad, but then again, when you know Meek and Drake was going at it, you tried to stay out. Like, you didn't want no parts of it, you didn't give no comments. So it's like, now that it's kind of coming around for you again, and you want an offset to jump in, but Cardi is his girl, you can't have it both ways, Nikki. But, you know, 
Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about that. Do y'all think she has the right to be upset even though she kind of did the same thing a while ago? Just let me know what you guys think in that comment section below. Alright, that's enough of entertainment. Who is wearing me out? Oh, do y'all like my hair? This hairstyle is inspired by my sister Anissa. I called her, I FaceTimed her, and I was like, what hairstyle should I do? And I looked at her hair and I was like, that's cute, sis. Hold on, let me get my poppy pins. Let's get into reinventing yourself and reinventing your brand. If you really want to rebrand yourself, the first thing you need to do is let go of the old you. So if on social media you want to rebrand yourself, that means deleting old pictures. And I know it's kind of hard to do because you feel this emotional attachment to these pictures like, oh my god, I remember when this happened and this happened and this happened. No, scratch that. You have to completely see yourself in a new light. You have to get rid of the past and focus on where you're going. Don't think about all the things that happened, you know, back then. Of course, you had some positive moments and it's, you know, not a bad thing to think about those positive moments, but they don't need to be on your social media where you're actually trying to market yourself. So, delete those old pictures, delete, you know, all of those things. Just put the past in the past and focus on the future, okay? Now, the second thing you need to do when you're trying to rebrand yourself is to open yourself up to a new market, a new network. You need to start surrounding yourself with the people that you are trying to not be like, but, you know, there's a whole community of certain brands. So reach out to those people you need to make connections in order to grow your audience, in order to grow your brand. So for example, if you want to reinvent yourself as a blogger, of course you need to connect with other bloggers. You need to kind of review their social medias and see what type of posts they make and stuff like that. Because of course if you're starting from scratch, you don't know nothing about blogging, you don't have any kind of direction, it always makes sense to do your research first. Not to say that you have to copy somebody, but definitely go down the line and think of you know some bloggers that you want to be like and then kind of mirror yourself to that. So this is all about social media. You have to present yourself in a certain way. You also need to make use of hash tags okay and i know people are like i don't need hashtags i don't want to be that person with a whole bunch of hashtags blah 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 those things don't work you don't really have to put hashtags on your pictures but if you want to kind of pick an area to rebrand yourself and go into you need to look at those hashtags and see what other people are posting about see what those hot topics are what's going on in that kind of community if somebody is posting something and it's like a big topic in yoga say a new yoga pose just came out actually my last video was on yoga so make sure you guys go look at that but say a new yoga pose came out and you want to be all about you know zen and yoga and stuff like that it would make sense to click on a hashtag and see what everybody's talking about now so you can talk about that as well it's so important to stay current whenever you are pushing your brand or pushing ideas and stuff like that if a lot of people in that community are talking about something chances are you need to be talking about it too now another thing that you should probably be doing to kind of reinvent yourself and reinvent your brand is to only focus on what shows you in the best light or what you know is the most positive things about you don't focus on you know i want to reinvent myself but I'm so lazy or I want to reinvent myself but I'm never on time to stuff I want to reinvent myself but this negative this negative this negative I can't do it I can't do it if you're going to reinvent yourself you have to be sure of yourself you have to be confident if you're going to make someone believe your brand and want to you know follow you or whatever I hate using that word but if you want someone to support you that's much better support all right so if you want someone to support you and really believe in your brand you can't walk around with negative thoughts you can't second guess yourself because the moment you second guess yourself that person will be like uh-uh they don't know what they talking about let me move on to the next person let me go you know to someone else that you know sounds a little bit more sure of themselves or you know is a little bit more confident now confidence is a major part of rebranding yourself as well so when you're talking to people hold your head up high okay put your shoulders back like let them know what you do and who you are if you want to reinvent yourself and you want to you know rebrand yourself you have to believe in that brand first before you can do 
any of that, all right? Creating a habit is also very, very important when you are trying to reinvent a brand or, you know, mold yourself into this brand new person that's all, you know, about positivity or I just use positivity a lot because that's what my brand is surrounded around. But, you know, whatever your brand is, you have to constantly think that you have to create habits in your life so you can become that person so let's say if you want to be this person who is always you know dressed up nice always going out places this social life you have to become that person if you want people to believe that you actually have to go out you actually have to dress up you have to you know for ladies do your makeup for guys you know keep your hair cleaned or groomed or however you want to come across you can't be on social media posting all of these bomb pictures with like you know your hair done your makeup done your outfits you know cute and stuff like that but when people see you in person they're like er, like who's that yeah no that's not gonna work because people are gonna catch on sooner or later that you aren't this person that you are really trying to portray i can't come on my show with my face beat to the gauze like i'm going to a photo shoot when that's not how i walk around like that's not really me so yeah in order to kind of reinvent yourself and reinvent your brand you have to become that person first so you can portray that and it can be believable and it can be authentic when you're trying to create a brand you have to be authentic because there are so many people out here literally faking it till they make it people are kind of hesitant into finding someone new and believing what they're saying or believing that they're actually this type of person so you need to become that person first create a habit create a list of things that you need to do all the time consistently to become that person and then just do it if you want to start a new business you need to kind of get some things out the way first first of all you need to think about why you didn't start it earlier and i know that sounds like crazy yes you need to address these things first because when you actually start your business you will have all of these negative thoughts like i can't do it what if this doesn't work out what if that doesn't work out but if you address the reasons why you didn't do it in the first place then most likely when you actually start you'll be like you know what i already thought about this i got it i'm going to continue to build my business because i know that there will be hard times all right so the next thing you need to do is research your market. You really have to research the area that you're about to go in. Who wants to start a business and who wants to go into something completely blind? You need to know what's going on within that market. So if you're about to start you know, a business and wherever you're trying to start it, there's most likely something that can be improved on. And if you can find that one, two, or a couple of things that can be improved on and attach that to your business and become the solver of that problem, trust me, your business will take off because it'll be something different. Everybody can pop up with a new business, but who is really trying to create something different or bring something different to the table? That's how you're going to get your audience. That's how you're going to get your customers bring something different to your brand, to your company. So people will really gravitate towards you and become a customer of you instead of customer of everybody else. Now, another thing, when you're starting your business, make sure you aren't just, you know, out on the web and saying, all right, I'm just gonna quit my job, I'm gonna start this business and everything is going to be great. I'm gonna make money right away. Most of the times when you start a business, you're not going to make money like that, okay? It's not gonna be that fast. So make sure you have another source of income so you can support your business. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. A lot of people look down on people when they have, you know, the regular jobs and stuff. It's like, okay, yeah, I have this normal job, but look at what I'm doing here and I'm building that up and trust me, it will get to a point where I can just profit off that business. I can quit my job and I'm going to be up here, okay? So don't worry about people if they're looking at you like, oh, she's working here. No. Keep in mind that yes, I might not like this job right now, but it's going towards me investing in my business. So when it takes off, I don't have to do this anymore. You can just work on your business. You also definitely need to keep it simple, okay? In the beginning, it's okay to start off with only offering a few things and then adding on to that later. If you try to add on this huge list of things, then it's going to be like, wait, hold on, this is too much. I can't handle this. Let me slow down and let me put that on the back burner. No, it's always good to keep it simple in your business at first so you can really 
focus on that one thing and be awesome at that one thing and then once you master that you can add this and add that and add this but in the beginning please please keep it simple because if you try to overwhelm yourself you're going to be more likely to want to give up because it's going to feel like it's way too much for you and you can't handle it so make sure you guys keep it simple problems are going to happen okay things are going to happen it's not easy starting a business it's not easy by any means continuing to push that business this is what i kind of worry about sometimes because it's just like am i ever going to get to a point where i'm going to feel like i have no more ideas what can i do what else can i put into this thing you know i just i'm i'm done i'm out no you're gonna have those moments understand that mistakes are going to be made Sometimes you're going to lose money. It's a part of the game, okay? You have to take a big risk for a big reward, okay? So please don't give up. Things are going to get hard. You have to understand that, okay? A lot of people, you know, sometimes they think, I'm going to start this business. I have this talent. People are just going to, you know, gravitate towards me. Everything is going to be easy. No, I'm sorry. It's not always going to work like that. You're going to have to grind, okay? All it takes is that mindset. Literally, your mindset is half the battle. Once you get over, you know, the whole I can't do it and everything like that, you'll just take off and everything will come a lot easier to you. When I go out, I'm very, very confident. You know, of course, I was saying that if you guys follow me on Instagram at Shani Shafai, that's just my personal page. But I just put up this video and I was talking about how I've kind of grown into this person where I'm a lot more confident and I'm not scared to go up to people. I, of course, want to grow and not be intimidated by certain people when I go and talk to them. But I can go and say, hi, I'm Shani Shafai. I have a talk show on YouTube. It's called The Shani Shafai Show. Make sure you guys subscribe like yes brand yourself and then become your brand you always need to market yourself you never know by simply introducing yourself they even if they can't help you they can introduce you to someone else so as you're talking to them they're like okay okay I know somebody that also has a YouTube channel you guys should connect or oh wait okay I know somebody that I might be able to connect you with that could help you you don't know what opportunities can come out of a simple situation you know you just walked up you took you know a chance and you talked to somebody about what you do you need to always market yourself and tell people about your brand Nobody's going to go as hard for you as you do for yourself. You need to understand that if you aren't going hard for yourself, nobody's going to want to stick their neck out and go hard for you. If you're not fighting for what you want, nobody's going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to back her. I'm going to talk about her. She ain't even talking about herself. Come on now. So now it's time for my grind time segment. So if you guys don't know what a grind time is, it's basically where I highlight business owners, entrepreneurs, people who are really out in this community doing it big, artists, bloggers, anybody with a talent, anybody that's pursuing a dream. This is your time to get some shine on the Shani Shafai show. The person that I am highlighting today for my grind time segment is this queen. Her name is Charlene C. Savin. She is an author. I was reading her message, her energy. I just went on her social media. She is a beautiful person, okay? And it seems like she's beautiful inside and out, so that's the most important thing. You know, shine from within, sis. Continue to be great. And she has a little message for you guys. Hello, I hope all is well. Are you into poetry? Look no further, I, Charlene C. Sabin published my first book of poems in January 2018 called The Dove Came Back with a Glock, Not a Branch. Wait, hold on. This is not a part of the message, but let's talk about that title. What do y'all think about the title? Make sure y'all put that in the comment section. The Dove Came Back with the Glock, Not a Branch. Mm. And y'all, this cover art, it is beautiful. Like, that would just make me pick it up off the bat if I saw that online if I saw that printed somewhere I would be like wait hold on what is this I need to see what it's about she says my book of spoken word poetry is available on Amazon my book consists of original poems and original colored paintings from Miami artists shout out to the 305 listen I love when somebody's from my city okay let me just 
let me just keep reading because this is amazing. You know, I'm putting in my little sidebars. I'm gonna try to, you know, keep it straight what she wants you guys to know. But yeah, I am just like living over this intro and this bio that she gave me to read to you guys. All right. My book consists of original poems and original color paintings from Miami artists to serve as the cover page for each poem. Now that is dope. That is a completely new concept. She actually got Miami artists to be involved with her book. And y'all know, shout out to the 305. I'm from Miami, born and raised, okay? So the fact that she actually got Miami artists in her book, a point from me. All right, so she also said, I've also turned some poems into visuals, which is available on my YouTube channel, such as the video, I am a poem about the comment, you look beautiful for a dark skin. Ooh, y'all, that's a whole nother heavy topic, okay? I hear that all the time, not, you know, from myself, of course, because I'm not a dark skinned woman. I love dark skin. But a lot of, you know, friends that I have on my sisters, they kind of go through similar things like that. When people say, oh, you're beautiful for a dark skinned woman. What does that even mean? But anyways, so I hope you enjoy and God bless. Yes, God bless you, queen. Okay. I absolutely love the concept of this book, how you incorporate it, artists and poetry. Like, this is dope. Make sure you guys go check that out. So let me just give you a little bit of, you know, information. She said she wants her message to her supporters to be one step at a time does not mean to never take your first step again. Okay, I'm going to include her social media handles in the description box below. So make sure you guys go check her out on social media. She has YouTube, she has Instagram, she has Twitter, she has Facebook. Listen, this is a woman who brands herself and she is doing it very, very well, okay? The title again is The Dove Came Back with a Glock, Not a Branch, okay? The name of her business is Shirlene C7 LLC. You did an amazing job, honey. Make sure you guys go and check her out. Check out her social medias. Go and purchase her book on Amazon, okay? Let's support this young queen because she's out here. She's doing it. She's killing it, okay? And make sure you guys follow her on social media. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this Grind Time segment. Queen, thank you so much for submitting to me. If anyone wants to know how to submit for my Grind Time segment, make sure you guys just email me. It's ShaniShafaiShow at gmail.com. Thank you guys for watching. It's your host, Shani Shafai, and you're tuned into the Shani Shafai Show. Make sure you hit that like button if you liked this video, if you liked any of the topics that I talked about, the entertainment segment, the grind time segment. Make sure you give this video a like and put something in the comment section below. I talked about a lot of different things. I was just up here running my mouth today. So if you found something that you thought was helpful or you know you want to expand on, anything just put that in the comment section below i want you guys to connect and interact with each other as well okay in the comment section below make sure you subscribe to my channel on the shady shafai show it's always love love you guys bye